In this build series, we're going to work on the Hobby King X930 Octopopter. In Chapter 1, we're going to be going over the parts we're going to be needing to put the basic frame together. So let's get started. In the box, they've included the GPS assembly site, as well as the holder for the multi-week board, which we're going to be using as a flight control board for this platform. They've also included the props in the box. I decided to go with black and green as a prop combination this time. Next in the box we have a Ziploc bag which has all the frame plates inside. These are what the plates look like. Next in the box we have the motor mounts. I'll just take one out. Next in the box we have some screws. Some nylons. Uh, they look like nylon screws essentially. But you can also call them spacers. Some bolts. Finally, we have our arms, which are quite long. The red ones are used to indicate direction.
There's also a very simple diagram of how to put the X930 frame together, included in the box, which is helpful. So that was essentially the contents of the box for the platform for the X930. Next, we're going to go over the electronics we're going to be using for this platform. So from Bobby King, I ordered 30 amp Afro ESCs. And the good thing about these ESCs is that they come pre-soldered with bullet connectors and they also come preloaded with Simon K uh, multi-rotor firmware which is nice and uh, they're actually very good and they're 2 to 4 S LiPo capable so I've ordered 8 of these because we're building an octocopter Next, we have some extension cables for the bullet connectors simply because the length of these cables may work if you're building a quadcopter, for example, as we did in the X525 frame. But if you're building something bigger, like an octocopter, you may need to extend these wires to simply fit the length of the long booms in the motor arms. So essentially, that's why I ordered eight of these extension cables as well. So I recommend you order these as well. Next, we have some radio cables. These you need just to put the connecting the radio transmitter and the flight control board and things like that. So these are always useful. You should always have these handy. And you can get them in different lengths. I recommend getting them uh, in a longer length simply because uh, shorter lengths don't allow you to move things a lot, uh, around that much on your platform and using uh, longer cables just allows you more movement and just allows you to place things more freely. Next we have a pre-soldered octocopter power board and it comes with an XT60 connector and so the good thing about this is it's essentially uh, just plug and play. Uh, you just plug in your motors or so your ESCs and uh, you're ready to go and this is designed for an octocopter so it has just as many uh, connectors for the purpose. I also ordered some adhesives. Uh, these are double-sided adhesives and they have a little bit of cushioning in the center. So it's nice if you need to protect from vibration and because they're double-sided, uh, pretty much anything you attach to it will stay uh, where it's supposed to be. Next we have the radio receiver which we're going to be using and so these cables are what you're essentially going to be using to connect this radio receiver to your flight control board and that's why these cables are so useful because you're going to be needing quite a few to connect all of the different ports. And this is a six channel receiver uh, which should work for our purposes. Um, it is always recommended that the higher channel receiver you have, the better, but 
at the very least, if you're flying a multi-rotor, you should at least, in my opinion, have a six-channel radio receiver. Finally, we have the flight control board we're going to be using. I've never used this flight control board before. It's going to be my first time. It's called the MultiWi Pro flight controller with MTK GPS module. I've read good things and bad things about this uh, flight control board, so I'm looking forward to working on it and seeing how easy it is to set up and essentially how good it is with this GPS hold and all its uh, different features. Uh, I do fly a NASA, so I will be comparing it uh, to that essentially. So it should be interesting to see how this turns out. So inside the back for the Multiwee Pro, we get First of all, the Multi-Wee Pro board, and it has an arrow indicating which way it should be pointing forward. So the arrow's right there. And I've read about the USB connector, which is right there, uh, being loose and eventually breaking off. And from the looks of it, The connector seems to be soldered on as well as I think um, it could be for the size that it is. Uh, so I guess really you just have to be careful because of the size that it really is. But the USB connector seems to be okay on this board. So this is what it looks like close up. Next in the bag we have the GPS module and this will simply hook up to the flight control board and again I've read mixed reviews about this GPS module so I'm looking forward to seeing how well it performs you also get a lot of connector cables, which is nice, and you get a USB cable, which they've included from HTC, so you can connect it to the computer. The motors for this platform are on the way, so they should be here soon. I found I'm using the same motors which I used for the X525 frame, simply because they seem to work so well. I just want to talk about the Multi-Wii Pro uh, flight control board for a bit. Um, this board is pretty much open source from what I've read. And so if this board performs well, uh, that's great. But if it doesn't, then I might just put it up on my local classifieds and sell it. I do plan on eventually having uh, most of the platforms we're working on flying with the NASA flight controller. Uh, even the NASA Lite would be fine with GPS. So let's see how this performs. So uh, I'm actually uh, quite interested in seeing uh, how easy it is to get it going. Uh, so let's see how uh, it turns out eventually. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, please send me a message or just write a comment below. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye.